Today I would like to talk about Casting Haze, uh, my installation which I've been researching on since 2016. Casting Haze uh, started with a fascination on the CO2 circle when I realized that uh, engineers and scientists tried to reshape and reform the CO2 cycle that really blew my mind, that people try to, on the one hand, air capture CO2, then mineralize it into another form and thereby mimicking like um, bone structures like shells, for instance, who participate CO2 out of the ocean. I thought I would really like to, uh, to kind of grasp this phenomenon. Also, uh, since the CO2 cycle is such a massive cycle, on the one hand, it loops through all biomass through our lungs, it loops uh, through concrete buildings, through limestone, materials like cement, and through all our combustion engines, and is thereby kind of the backspine of our energy-driven systems. So uh, the, the effort to understand and rebuild this uh, massive cycle uh, mechanically and chemically really drew my attention. Casting haze is trying to air capture 14 kilos of CO2 and then mineralize the CO2 into a solid form, into a sculpture, and this sculpture should be awarded by 2030 to planetary intelligences or beings who will have managed to reshape our atmosphere in the most productive but also sustainable way. So 14 kilos because um, our lungs emit in average uh, 14 kilos of CO2 into the atmosphere in dormant state and I wanted to embody uh, or give kind of a bo bodily relationship uh, to that, the base of the installation, the base of the future award-winning set was created in a collective manner. We did a collective meditation session on the times where humans have become a geological force. So also by uh, remineralizing CO2 and bring it to the ground, you produce a lot of modified ground. So in a collective gesture, we were producing this modified ground as base uh, for the, the trophy nominee set together. So the installation uh, is introducing the trophy and uh, on the other hand is um, framing the whole subject.